I'm Isabella. I'm a buyer for Green Acres here at Rockland. And we're gonna do a greenhouse tour today. And if you have any questions about house plants, definitely leave a comment below and our team will get back to you. So let's get started. I wanna show you some of my favorite plants. Um, the Monstera has been very popular. We have everything from the little four inch guys, if you wanna start with a really young one and watch it grow. You can start with a, a medium size and you'll end up with one of these beautiful plants with the fenestrations on the leaves. Another one that's really fun if you like texture is the Swiss cheese plant. And this one will get really long and viney or you can even have it climb on a pole. Another really cool one is um, the Deffenbachia reflector. And this one's actually locally grown by Matsudas of Sacramento. It's got some really fun color. This one will get relatively tall. It is toxic to pets, so keep that in mind. Another fun one is the coffee plant. So if you're a coffee lover, this might be a great plant for your collection. Very nice and bushy, glossy green. Likes a decent amount of water. And then we have spider plants. This is another great clean air and pet friendly plant. Very nice and full. And then another one of my favorites is Pothos Giant Leaf. Look at those leaves. They're out of control. Beautiful. Some of the plants that have been very popular are Hoyas. We have some really fun varieties here. There's the Crimson Princess. It's got the pink stems. Gorgeous blooms. These guys like bright light. Want to let them dry out in between waterings. And you can do some really fun things with all of these different types of poyas. I'll show you some examples in a second. But look at all the different leaf types you can get. There's even the sweetheart. And this one's gorgeous. This is a Varicia Gigantia. That one's gonna like bright light. You can water it a little in the soil and put some in the cups here. Pretty easy going plant. So let me show you what you can do with a, with a Hoya. We've mounted a couple of them just to give you some ideas of what you can do. This is a really fun way to display some of your plants. Hoyas are not the only plant you can do. You can do ferns, a bird's nest fern looks really nice mounted, staghorn ferns. This is the Crimson Princess. And then one of my favorite families is the philodendrons. There's some really nice varieties. This one's the Congo Green. It's nice and bushy. This one's a little bit more of an open look. Philodendron Narrow, it's got a really cool leaf. That one will get pretty tall. There's also the Congo Rojo. You got these really nice red stems. This one gets nice and big. Some mature ones you'll see about yay tall. Calypias are another one that have been very popular. These ones are pet safe. They're in the Maranta family. They like higher humidity, evenly moist, and medium to bright light. This one's the white fusion. Look at that color. Underneath, we've got purple sheen. Very pretty. This one isn't as popular until you touch it. This one is so soft. So if you're ever in here, check out the Calithia Rufi Barba and touch the underside of the leaf. It's fabulous. This one is more of a rare one. This is the Zabrina. Very velvety. These ones do really nice in a bright bathroom. 
this one's kind of unusual. This is vanilla, the same vanilla that you get at the grocery store. It's actually a vining orchid. So they usually grow these in greenhouses um, in Mexico and I believe Guatemala, there's some other countries that produce it, but they'll grow them on walls and then they have a flower that produces the bean. Lots of fun hanging plants over here. There's the Scandapsis satin. This one is gorgeous. And you treat it just like a pothos or a philodendron, let it get relatively dry in between waterings. Every once in a while we'll get one of those unicorn plants like the watermelon peperomia. This is one of my favorite lipstick varieties. This one's the Black Pagoda. It's got a really cool variegation and a purple underneath. I really like to add color to my plant collection, so I like plants that have a little bit of variegation going on, some bright green to kind of break up that darker green. This one's gorgeous, it gets really long. This one's really fun. the rabbit foot fern and it grows by shooting out these rhizomes with the little fuzzy feet and then more fronds will come off of those. There's a couple varieties. That one's the white foot. Cactus golden rat tail. If you're into cacti this one is a must-have. And also peperomia hope very waxy. It's a fun one. One of my favorite Tradescantias is the Nanook. This one's a little bit hardier. It's got a thicker leaf and that fun color. If you're into unusual plants, this one is the Ficus corsifolia. It does really, really well in a terrarium setting. Definitely one of my favorite terrarium plants. Let's take a, take a look at our pet friendly wall. Over here we have ferns, spider plants, a couple different palms, the Neanthabella palm, and the areca palm, great house plants if you have pets that tend to nibble on things. The staghorn ferns are another good one. This one is fantastic. You get some really nice color. It's the maranta. It's the prayer plant. Also is another nickname and its leaves move up and down. It's kind of fun. This is also a great plant. If you're not sure what to get a friend, this is a good go-to. And it comes in the green and the red. A really quirky plant that's really fun and also pet friendly is the Bucarnia. Some people call this the ponytail palm. It's very cute. Got some personality. This is another great plant if you're looking for a little bit of pop of color. It's the Schifflera. There's a couple different varieties. We have lots of different types of ficus and they come in all different sizes. We have everything from 4 inch all the way up to 18 inch. So you can get pretty much any size of ficus that you're looking for. There's lots of different varieties. These are all in the Elastica family. A couple different kinds of the Benjamina, variegated and non-variegated. This is one of my favorite palm trees. This is the bottle palm. And he's got some really fun orange stalks. Very hardy, very easy to take care of inside. Bright light, well-drained soil. He's a good one. This uh, 
base will actually get a lot larger as he matures and it holds a decent amount of water so it becomes more drought tolerant as he ages. There's some fun items over here if you're into peperomias. There's the peperomia pixie line. This one's really cute. Slightly fuzzy leaf. And this guy is the pudiolata. These ones were grown on the coast here of California and they are very hardy. Very popular peperomia. This is the rana verde. It's got the fun stems. A little bit more round of a leaf. And the Hoya Hindu Rope. This is a really cool, unusual Hoya. Looks really nice in a hanging basket. Pedialanthus Devil's Backbone. That's an unusual one. This is one of my favorites from my collection. Peperomia Frost. Very pretty, it has a nice silvery sheen to it. And then Euphorbia Crested, this guy's fun. It's a very quirky plant. These ones are grafted. And they usually come in pink and white and this minty green color. Let's take a look at some of the larger plants. This one's a bleeding heart vine while we're passing by. It gets this gorgeous bloom. Likes to stay relatively moist, bright light. Cardboard palm. Now this is a cycad, so it's one of the oldest plants. It's very tough. So if you're ever in here, touch that one. It's very unusual. Deffenbachia panther, that one's a really unusual variegation. These ones are toxic to pets, so be careful with that one. The beloved ZZ plant, this one is a great one. Very hardy, easy to grow. One of my favorite larger plants, this one's a baby. This is the natal mahogany, loves water. You can actually have this one sitting in a little bit of water during the week, totally fine. He thrives on moist soil, medium light, and he gets quite large, eight feet, 10 feet or so. If you're looking for color in a larger space, this is the ficus elastica ruby. This one's another one if you're looking for a little bit more contrast. Aurelia elegantissima. This one gets really tall. It's got a really cool fine leaf, nice color. Likes to stay evenly moist and on the brighter side for light. Got the fishtail palm. This one's kind of an unusual leaf. Unusual Deffenbachias, really cool color. These ones, I've seen this one reach about 10 feet tall. So you can let it get really tall, you can cut it back and let it sprout out again. There's some nice braided ficus. If you're looking for more of a classic house plant, this is really nice and full. It's got a nice braid on it. For larger houseplants that are also pet friendly, palms are the way to go. This one's really fun for color, or stripes. This is the Apalandra sclerosa. Some people call it the zebra plant. Likes really bright light and a decent amount of water. Gets a really cool yellow stacked bloom. It's 
quite fun. This is a larger one of the philodendron Congo rojos, just to give you an idea of how big they can get. And this one will probably keep going a little bit more. Vermiliads are great plants if you're looking for some bright color. The blooms usually last between four and eight months. If you're really taking good care of it, they can last a really long time. These are also pet friendly. It's a great option for that. Furry friends. All right, I think there's a couple more to show you. This is a really fun ficus. This is the ficus ginseng. And these are older plants that have been pruned. So you can get some really funky looks going on. More of the little Hindu rope poyas. These, this is a great size if you want to do something like the mounting. And then we have Stramanthi. This is another really nice one for color. I think that about does it. So stop by any of our five locations and talk to your favorite houseplant specialist. Thanks for coming along.